a lot of people think I'm cocky or people who are like me are cocky. Because one, I always say I'm the best. I always say I'm the only one you can trust. One, I say those because I believe it. Whether you do or don't, I believe it. And then it helps me bring those customers in. It's like, okay, this guy believes in himself that much. Let me see what he has. So by that time he says, hey man, I need this done. I go, hey, check on my Instagram. By the time they come back, like, when can we meet? What's good everyone, it's MJO 23 dan back with another video. And today's series, we have Feature Friday. And in this video series, you'll learn about all the small time creators out there that you may not know about that are just trying to create a name for themselves. They've either just started, are struggling to get views, or just need that extra push to keep on going. So this is a series that was really near and dear to my heart and it's something that I really wanted to create an impact for these people. So if this is something that you're interested in, click the link up above to find out how to enter. Other than that, these are the creators and their story. I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Salvador Angelo Seves, but on social media I go by South Sneakerhead. Uh, I have, I would say, multiple businesses. My main one, of course, is the restoration and uh, customization one that I run. And I'm starting off a newer clothing brand. Uh, I've dabbled through the years with fixing iPhone screens and uh, somewhat fixing computers and, of course, detailing cars. Uh, I'm only 19, about to turn 20 in June of the 22nd. Uh, growing up, I never had, well, my dad never had the funds to really, like, afford the Jordans or the nice Nike so of course I had like the little cheaper shoes grateful as hell for all that stuff I found a pair of 2010 uh, varsity sixes in my garage and so just don't didn't matter how beat up they were they were Jordan so I took them upstairs to my room they were my size uh, 10 I believe at that time I was a 10 so I took them upstairs um, started just researching how to because I was around the time YouTube was like getting big and uh, I looked up how to do what was it a cleaning or I think it was a repaint couldn't afford the paint so did the cleaning stuff so I cleaned them got really good at cleaning and then um, just basically practicing all that eighth grade summer to ninth grade and uh, from there the love of sneakers just took off I had I had that one and I couldn't do anything else besides cleaning because I had household items to do that and I took them to someone at my high school freshman year and he told me he couldn't yellow them but I don't know if he messed up or if he like stole them or something uh, in my mind, I was like, okay, if he stole them, then he needed them more than I did. But if he messed up, then he messed up. But from that point on, I was like, okay, I'm just going to fix my own shoes, going to learn how to do all this stuff for myself. And to practice and get better at cleanings, I did free cleanings for a few months at high school. I don't know how long I did it, but uh, that gained traction a lot because there was me and probably two other people at that school who did what I did. Um, and then I got my first repaint, and that went horrible. <music> through my YouTube videos you'll see when I first started like my first custom was super shiny to where you go like a couple years ago where I did probably the biggest and the video that people recognize me for is like the uh, Air Max 90 duck camo sort of custom that was all right but if you look now it's like sometimes it you lose like dry because you're so just beat and you're always sitting down working uh, if you restore like full-time you know how it feels how tiring it gets and yeah, I, just, I love doing that. And then uh, these shoes, man, you can just see they're, they're messed up. Uh, it was back before I graduated high school. Graduated, uh, my brother from my dad and my little brother's mom, he gave me these to re-glue. And it was just the upper cemetals. And at this time, I didn't have barge. I didn't have super stick. Um, all I had was E9000. So that's what this glue that's on it is. And... Oh man, I never re-glued a shoe before, so I totally, totally ruined this shoe. The patent leather's all jacked up. Um, the shoe is just completely ruined, but I can totally bring it back now. But this is just 
what I like to show people when they first starting or when they're first starting anything, like if you, I'll show you my 11s now. If you look at that work now compared to this, you wouldn't believe that I did this. But there's always a beginning to something, and you have to mess up a lot and trial and error a lot just to get uh, better. So 2,000 cool grades of mine, of course. Uh, I reglued the uppers already. Like the fitment was perfect on these. I love these. The aging of the patent leather, super clean. Compared to that bread, this is a whole nother level of work. And my customers who have me reglue all their shoes love it as well. And then here's another pair of 2000 Columbia's like size boat from my brother-in-law. Super clean fitment, strong. I did these a long time ago, but way better than those breads. And uh, not just 11s in general, but every shoe has gotten a lot better uh, from quality of work, from the the rate I put it out, and um, the, I guess the traction that I get. And the next one I would show are these 99 breads. Um, I don't have a before picture. I do have videos, so I could probably send you videos if you want to have that easier. Uh, I sole swapped them. The customer wanted an off-white look. So I gave him that off-white midsole instead of that pure white, fully repainted. Gonna be dyeing the uppers. Um, these are tricky because a lot of people, like right here, I wasn't able to fully get rid of that gap. On the other one, it's completely gone. There's no gap at all. So it's just midsole to mudguard. Um, all I gotta do is restitch and dye them and then they're done. The customer loves them. And the weird thing is like, I feel like 99 back tabs are super indestructible. They don't crack unlike uh, 2000s or everything else, except this one is just super painted ugly by someone else. But this one I'm super proud of, this midsole repaint. Oh my God. Literally only one touch up right here was needed. Everything else is just super clean tape. So I'm super proud of my repaints nowadays. So this is another one that I was struggling with. I originally only got them in for a tab replacement uh, they were completely cracked. He said his brother wore them and the, the hill part cracked off. So he brings them in. Uh, I ha I provide the tabs. He just paid me. And long story short, I go to the, the guy right inside. His tabs are amazing. Uh, I never will knock his tabs. His tabs are the best. But uh, I was not smart enough to tell him that I wanted a Jumpman tab. So he made a Nike Air tab. And my customer just didn't want to make the Mars 4s into something they weren't. So he sent me over these tabs, these exact tabs. Um, I didn't think that these holes were going to be a problem. They're a factory defect. Uh, it happened on a lot of fours actually. And so I didn't think they were going to be a problem. So I glued them in. Fitment's super dope, except the defects were showing. So I go to fix it and it's just, I can't fill it in good enough to where it doesn't look ugly or up to par to my work. I didn't, I never gave my customer these shoes back because, uh, these holes. So I go to take them off and when I go to take them off, the other tab just cracks. I don't know if the acetone ate it or what. So, of course, I just took the rest off. I got to take this one off as well. And we were searching for months and months and months for donors. Not only for the wings, because he didn't tell me that he super glued these. So, basically, long story short, a simple back tab swapped. Turned into a full re-glue, because they were already ungluing. Turned into a full re-glue. Turned into a back tab swap, into a wing swap, into a cleaning. And basically turned into hell. So these shoes I don't like, but I'm making them look right for the customer.